Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into browser fingerprinting and how you can minimize it. If you're using a VPN or Tor to hide your IP, that's great. But what about your browser fingerprint? What can you do to reduce that and keep yourself more anonymous online? In this video, I'll share some tips on how to tackle this issue. And trust me, you don't want to miss these. Tip number one, use specialized browsers. Browsers like LibreWolf and Mulvad browser are excellent choices because they come with privacy and security features pre configured to reduce fingerprinting. They are designed to minimize the data that websites can collect from you, such as screen resolution, device fonts, and system details. When using these browsers, you're already one step ahead in protecting your identity as they block third-party trackers and other data collection mechanisms. Tip number two, virtual machines for extra privacy. If you're really serious about minimizing your browser fingerprint, consider using a virtual machine. VM. Essentially, you're running an isolated version of your operating system within your primary OS. This means that all the data websites collect stays within the virtual environment and doesn't affect your main machine. You can even install a privacy browser like Mulvad or LibreWolf inside the VM, giving you multiple layers of privacy. It's not the most convenient option, but if you want to go the extra mile, this is a great choice. Tip number three, use Windows Sandbox or similar tools. Not everyone is comfortable with running full-fledged VMs, but you can still get a similar level of isolation by using Windows Sandbox or similar tools. These tools allow you to run a fresh browser instance every time you start them. Essentially, every session gives you a brand new fingerprint that can't be tied back to your past browsing sessions. This is especially useful if you want to keep your main system untouched while still protecting your privacy. Step number four, minimize data collection through ad blockers. Although ad blockers don't directly reduce your browser fingerprint, they help cut down on the trackers that are often used to build Build your profile. By blocking ads, you're also blocking many of the scripts that collect personal data on your browsing habits. These trackers are the primary tools advertisers use to build detailed profiles for targeted ads. So even if you don't block fingerprinting directly, blocking ads and trackers still plays a huge role in keeping your data private. Tip number five, the Tor browser for maximum anonymity. If you really want to protect your privacy, the Tor browser is the gold standard. Tor works by routing your internet traffic through multiple layers of encryption, making it incredibly difficult to trace back to you. Tor also anonymizes your browser fingerprint, so no matter how many times you visit a website, it won't be able to build a consistent profile. Tor does come with some downsides, like slower browsing speeds, but if anonymity is your top priority, Tor is an absolute must. Tip number six, use default settings for most websites. It might be tempting to go full-on privacy mode by customizing every little detail of your browser, but sometimes the default settings are best. For example, the Tor browser uses default settings that make everyone look the same. By sticking to these defaults, you prevent your device from standing out too much. Customizing these settings may make you more unique, and ironically, that can make you easier to track. Keep things simple and blend in with the crowd for maximum privacy. Tip number seven, consider using a Mac or Safari. If you're using a Mac, you're already one step ahead. Macs are generally less unique compared to Windows those PCs, so they naturally help reduce the uniqueness of your fingerprint. Safari on macOS is also designed with privacy in mind, so if you want to reduce your fingerprinting exposure, this is a good combination. Just remember, using Safari doesn't automatically make you anonymous. It's still important to follow other privacy practices, like disabling third-party cookies and blocking trackers. Tip number eight, mind the balance between privacy and usability. A word of caution, don't go overboard. It's important to find a balance between privacy and usability. If you reduce your fingerprint too much, it could interfere with the way websites work. For example, websites may not display content properly if they can't identify your device correctly. The goal is to find a middle ground where you're minimizing your fingerprint but still able to use the web comfortably. Privacy should improve your browsing experience, not hinder it. There you have it. 10 detailed tips to help you minimize your browser fingerprint and enhance your online privacy. Remember, no method is 100% foolproof, but by combining several of these these techniques, you can stay much more private and less trackable. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future privacy tips and tech advice. Have any questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.